Good day and welcome to our present the representation of the Tiger Tang Secondary Schools Football League. Today we are in this beautiful Isle of Tobago as we see Speyside coming up against Mason Hall in the under 16 division. We have Speyside, they are in red. Sorry, Mason Hall in red. Speyside are in yellow. As they get the action on the way here at the Shaw Park recreational facility. Red ball cleared there by Res Gray. So we have the starting lineups for you. For Mason Hall, who are on the attack here now through Sherm Baker. Sherm Baker. Shot just putting wide. We've got number 14, Jokori Julian, number 22. Hakim Anderson, number 19. Shokonam Baker, number one. Isaiah Kito, number seven. The captain, the impressive Wakilsi Williams, number 20. Ronnie Reed, number 10. Denton Allen, number 11. Devon Collett, number 18. Javon Edwards, number 12. Rasil Sibro and rounding off the southern lineups, they have number 15, Yashua Muhammad. So, very strong Mason Hall team here. That's on paper. Of course, the game has to be played on the day. For Speyside, we've got their captain, the number 11, Res Gray. Number 6, Adriel Dalrymple. Number 21, Shion Gordon. Number 19, Nickel Williams. The number 0, Brandon Melville. He'll be in goal. The number 3, Almari Ferguson. The number 14, Isaiah Murray, the number seven, Jacory Jack, the number 18, Avon Gray, the number 10, Kaleem Warwick. And rounding off the starting lineups, we've got Jaden Phillips, and he'll be sporting the number nine jersey. So, Speyside on the attack, they're looking to launch the attack down that right hand side, but it's broken up and able to pass their way out of trouble. And then it's just given away. So a bit of backs and forths in the early going here. Julian trying to get the ball to Seabro, but he loses out to Gray. Gray tumbles right in front of the referee. He says it's a legal dispossession. And then he just gives that ball away. And they're able to come forward. Gray looking to tread the needle through. Oh, and unable to get a shot on target. There was a... Shy on a George. He was through the goal at his mercy. So space side giving the early scare to the boys from Mason Hall. And that's a poor clearance. But it's cleaned up. But only as far. And finally, the ball just put into touch. Bika runs to retrieve. So the pace here, fast and frenetic in the opening moments here for the both teams. As the action in the under-16 division warms up here. Strong challenge by Murray. Taking no prisoners. Finally, Gray puts it through. Jack. He's got Williams for company. That's going to be an interesting battle. Jack versus Williams. Jack wins out, but then his cross goes into the waiting hands of a goalkeeper, Kato. Kato with a punt upfield. Well taken down there by Baker. And then the ball just punt up to the that Julian. But Gray wins out. And bringing it under control here for Mason Hall. We have Stewart. And then he just gives it away cheaply. A ball banged upfield by Williams. Aimed at Jack. Ball just 
deflects and goes into the waiting hands of goalkeeper Kato. Big goalkeeper Kato using his whole area and then he punts downfield. Sibro just exchanging passes but then losing out yet to Warwick. To come forward that ball played forward but into the hands of the goalkeeper who comes claims easily goalkeeper Kito and then points downfield lots of action here already in the early going Both teams to yet to really control the flow of things. And turning away from the pressure, we have more. But he loses out and then he's able to put it into touch. So it's going to be a throwing for space side. They are in yellow. Julian is just cleared out under pressure. This is Stedman Perez just coming across. Sorry, Stedman Kelly. They're free, just coming across and ensuring that the flag stayed up, but it fell down uh, and we continue <laughs> Mohammed <laughs> he finds Baka <laughs> oh, a strong challenge but Mohammed still able to maintain possession Mohammed and then the ball just cleared out it's going to be a corner here for Miss Hall the very first one of the game the skipper Rikilde Williams runs to retrieve. He's going to be taking that with the left boot. It's going to be cooling in water. William had it clear. He got another opportunity to put it in. He's able to win out here for Speyside. And he's going for a bit of a run. And then just runs out of real estate. The referee saying that it's a true for Speyside. Let me just call for a free kick. Camera okay. evidence. Okay. Okay. Winning out here, Baker. Still Baker. Sibro. So finally getting their passing going here. This means no team a shot from distance. Easily handled by goalkeeper Melville. And he just sends his team forward. Long punt, don't feel. So both teams really using the root one method of attack. Baker, he's been active. But he loses out. And Speyside able to come forward. That's a good ball. Still going there is George. George with a shot. Kato drops it. Jack! Oh, and Jack puts it into the back of the net. So Speyside draws first blood in this one. Jakir Jack. It was doing all the hard work. Cheyenne George did all the spade work. He shook off the challenge of the defender. Moore got a right-footed shot out. The keeper saved. 
but the rebound fell kindly to Jack. He was Jack on the spot and put it home to put <coughs> space side up one goal to nil in only the third minute. So as we wait for the restart here. Some players just getting a bit of refreshment. As P side, Dave started on the front foot. The Space Side senior team, of course, they campaign in the Premiership Division of the Tiger Town Secondary Schools Football League. Mason Hall in the Championship here in Tobago. Though Mason Hall have been to two finals. As we see the throwing about to be taken. Shona long up field. Recent hole able to come forward. Gray. Applying pressure. He's looking to lead his troops here. They lead one goal to nil. The long throw. Finds Mohammed. This pass not of the best quality, but it drops to Williams. There's no other person this Mason Hall team will want on the ball but him. And he's able to force a corner. So it's going to be the second corner in the game for Mason Hall. Applying some pressure. Referee Stedman Kelly with a few words to the players. For Kilmey Williams. Ball across. It's cleared. It only goes fast, see, bro who's badge off the ball, the referee says illegally so. So it's going to be a free kick in a very interesting position. Just outside the 18 yard box on the left hand side. Standing over it is Sebro and Williams. Both players, they also play at the Championship division, the higher level, the under 20 level. Both quite impressive and both very important parts in their senior team's infrastructure. Sibiru, nice, silky smooth player. Williams, a natural goal scorer with a very intelligent left boot. Let's see who's going to take this one. It's Williams with the left boot, who seems to be great. Williams! Uh, Oh, it's straight at the keeper. So it went up over the wall, but straight at goalkeeper Melville. He does well. Claims no damage done. Space side. Daily, the one goal to nil. They are in yellow here. Williams. Winning that battle out. Oh, trying to thread the needle to Mohammed, but quickly and smartly off his line was goalkeeper Melville. He claims. Looking for movement. Then he punts downfield. Just getting stick on the ball there. But then he's able to put it in field to Alain. Alain loses out. First recovered is a, a man in yellow. Looking to just screen it out. But then. He wins out and it's Baker. Baker. Sorry. Alendo. Coming forward skillfully. Scollet changes the angle of the attack. Okilde. Williams. Uh, still Williams. Strong challenge. There's going to be another corner. So corner number three for Mason Hall. They've led on that start. 
But the one stats that matters in football, they are behind on. It's Payside who leads one goal to nil here. Williams to fake this corner. It's going to be with the left boots. It's going to be curling away. Driven across the area. Oh, and it's in. But he had to be offside. Yes. So it went in or off of a Mohammed. But it was not a goal. I would love to see that one again. The ball came in. A shot. But Mohammed, he was right in front of the goalkeeper. So obviously offside. Barker was had the shot. So the scores remain one goal to nil. Or just cleared up field. And then banged over his head. McClatchy. He then puts it down field. The defender there, Murray. They're on certain clearance. And that ball just going out of play there. Off of Barker. So Barker. Oh, strong crunching tackle by Rez Gray, the skipper. Referee Stedman Kelly just coming across. It looked like he was going to have a word alone. But then he dips into his pocket and shows the, the yellow card. So Gray finds himself in the referee's book. Not for good reason. So Mason Hall punts the ball long field. Good commanding header. And here they come again. Williams. Sneaking past the defenders. Oh, strong challenge again. And this time it's the Rimple with a strong challenge just outside the area. Oh, and he finds himself in the referee's book as well. So they're collecting cards the same color as their jerseys, the Space Eye team. They find themselves with two yellow cards. Oh, and it's, it seems to have happened in the penalty area. So it's going to be a penalty. So it's Williams up against Melville. Oh, beautifully taken penalty. So Williams, Rakilde Williams. He draws his team level. So Mason Hall, they get on the scorecard. It's one apiece here at the Shaw Park Sporting Facility. And you see the captain just exchanging a box. With the skipper, Rez Gray. Probably a peace sign. Of course, the Space Side team would not be quite happy having conceded a penalty. Ball headed clear. Seabro. Much expected of him at this level. And the infringement just being. That's Denton Allen committing the infringement. Walking up to take this one, Darimple. Adriel Darimple. Just about 19 minutes gone. Ball floated into the area. Back over the goal. 
So just about 19 minutes gone in this one. If you're just joining us, you're watching the Tiger Tank Secondary Schools Football League. It's the under-16 division here in the beautiful Isle of Tobago, the Tobago Zone. Space side, they have one goal. Mason Hall have one. Space side, they got their goal off the forward. Jack responding for Mason Hall from the penalty spot. The impressive skipper, Raquel De Wilt Williams. So it's locked at a goal apiece here. Ball played forward into the channel. Mohammed in a foot race. Mohammed! Oh, and Mohammed rolls it into the back of the net. Yashwa Mohammed. He puts his team up. It was a beautiful true ball, a foot race. Mohammed winning that race. He composed himself and placed it under the arm of Melville. So, Miss Noll, uh, they go up two goals to one here. And what a turnaround. So, the boys from Miss Noll, yes, as we know, the Prime Minister's famous book from Miss Noll to Whitehall. So, the home village of uh, Prime Minister. Keith Christopher Rowley, the Honorable Keith Christopher Rowley. They lead in this one. Two goals to one. And of course, Speyside. That beautiful country island, country village that produced the likes of Kenya Yaya Kordner. National women team standout and professional footballer. Ball played through. Oh, that's a beautiful turn there by Jack. Ball played in to the area. And then it just cleared out field. Anywhere will do. Then Turner just coming back and beginning the passing game. Mohammed. Nice passing here. Ball played through by Julian. Well, infringement is said to have been committed. So Mason Hall finally them settle these two goals, just settling the nerves, and they're beginning to pass that ball around, be more creative. The route one method just been thrown out of the door, probably just momentarily. Speyside do they want to respond as their skipper tries to tread the needle? The big res gray. Here they come again, but then ball is just a shot out and they get the opportunity to play it at the back. Gray, oh, he loses out here, Tarlene. Ball tread through. But some good defensive work there by Murray. And he just punts the ball upfield. Zarimpul. That's Alene. The Alene and Boots teams here. Uh, then another very good touch by Jack. And Kent. Kamali Kent. Just wasting that opportunity to put the ball into a danger area. Cyan George on the far side. Not liking his choice of passes. His choice of action. In the meantime, Stuart, Joshua Stuart, he also plays at the senior level with the senior team. And we see the referee just taking a water break. Mr. Stedman Kelly taking a water break. The scores at this point. Mason Hall, they lead two goals to one. So we've got three goals for you. I think we could see these three goals while these players get their refreshment. It's a hot day here in Tobago as you see the clouds, the sky, sorry. And it was early on some good telling work by George. He got off a 
right for the shot not handled by goalkeeper Keto and the man first arrived was Jack he then it, we had this one the ball going into the back of the net put in there by Yashua Muhammad but he was deemed to have been offside so that did not count goalkeeper Melville instructing his players to push up quickly on that occasion it worked for him but soon after there was an infringement in the penalty area and up to take it was the impressive Rakilde Williams. Melville chose the right side, but he could not get there. It was banged in. And then soon after, a beautiful ball through. First to respond was Mohammed. He composed himself and rolled it under the keeper's arms. And with that, all of a sudden, Mason Hall, they were leading two goals to one. So they're now coming back out after the water break having refreshed themselves Mason Hall they are in red they lead two goals to one they'll be kicking from left to right on your screens space side they are in yellow so as we get ready for the restart remember you're watching the Tiger Tank Secondary Schools Football League the under 16 division and uh, you could get checked all uh, your secondary schools football league action right here on Tiger Sports International on YouTube. Ball banged forward with the restart. Headed clear. Mohammed just allowed it to go out of play. And then he quickly takes. Uh, oh. And that one just put out of play there by Alain. That's Narabani. Narabani Allen. He's on space side for Mason Hall. There's also an nil. Tenton Allen. Don't know if there's any relations. But definitely name six. Sibu loses out to Warwick. George aimed at Jack. Uh, Jack not able to get it, but it falls kindly to Gray. And Gray has a shot from distance. That is just allowed to go a shot over the goal line, really, by the goalkeeper. So it's going to be a goal kick here. Good defensive work by Murray just intercepting pass as Mohammed was about to control. Mohammed. Ball played through Mohammed in a foot race. But coming across and just allowing it, just playing it into touch was Melville. Thought he would have allowed it just to go over. To go out for a goal kick, but taking no chances. Safety first. So it's going to be a train. Julian. Jacory Julian. Long throw into the area. The ball drops. Ali not able to get much power on it. And Williams, able to retrieve. Just called for the infringement there. So Mason Hall, they'll have a, a free kick. Ball floated into the area, headed on, and not able to generate much power from a shot. There was Denton Allen, but Julian trying to go into his bag of tricks, and then he just slips. 
the referee calling for the infringement there on George. And Darimple is going to get the opportunity to put this ball into one of the more forward areas. Ball bang dong feel. And just clear out anywhere will do for this P side team. Hello. They started much the brighter, got their names on the scorecard. Yeah, yeah. But then yeah, two yeah, quick man. goals from Miss Nola really took out the win out of the sales of the guys from Speyside. It's all been Miss Nola after that. Well, here comes Speyside. George and Chuck exchange the passes. Chuck with a shot. Oh, he just dragged it wide. So just when I said that their sales have been taken out from them, they fashion a response. Good build-up play between George and Jack. The front two for space side. Jack just dragging his shot wide. Point up field. Mohammed heads it down. Darimpul. Just getting a bit of a nick there. By from Arlene. And Arlene now finds his name in the referee's book. Oh, in fact, it's not Arlene, it's Barker. Clumsy challenge as best. No intent. But sometimes intent it's not needed. As the old saying goes, the road to hell is filled with good intentions. So he's back up on his feet here. Darimpul, good to see. So standing over the free kick. We have his partner in crime, if I could call it that. His next centre back, Ferguson. But they're going to leave it. And coming all the way back is Nikhil Williams. And he points the his tongue feel. But it's easily handled. Just bang down the field. And it's gonna be a train here. Darren Pull. Headed clear. Thrown into Skipper Gray. He exchanges passes with George. The ball is going to play. And it's going to be taken there by the Skipper Rez. Rez Gray. Ball thrown in field. Flicked on. Bit of a heavy touch there by Williams. And then he loses out. And the ball is played to the dangerous Kill Me Williams. He's got two for company. Going in a bit of a foot race. 
And then the ball just played out for a corner. So he's up against Ferguson. Ferguson able to put the ball into touch. It's going to be a corner. The fourth corner in the game. All corners in the game thus far has been for Mason Hall. Taking the time both teams to really get to the ball. Wonder if he has called it back for a free kick. So it's gonna be Williams to deliver this one. The big guys from the back, they've come forward. Ball through to the interior. Just headed clear. Ball to Seabro. Seabro trying to get Williams going, but it falls kindly to Aline. Mohamed! Coming across and just clearing it out. Was the number five, Kent. So it's going to be quarter number four. Four Mason Hall. They've gotten all the corners in this game thus far. They lead two goals to one here versus Speyside. So, Jacory Julian, to take this one with the right boot, it's going to be curling away. Boy into the area, headed clear. Oh, shot. That's high, wide, and wasteful there by Baka. Showing him Baka. And Speyside able to come forward with it. That's a route one stuff. Jack, the goal scorer. Flicks the ball through. George oh, coming back and putting in a timely challenge. There yeah, was Stewart. So it's going to be a throw for the Mason Hall team. George to take it. Throws to Chuck. And finally loses out. And Stewart able to bring it forward. Alain. Just turning back and Williams treads this one through. But it just played out. And in fact, it was aimed at Williams. So I just got my wires crossed. Who made that telling pass? It would have been Seabrew. Similar hairstyles. And Speyside able to. Begin to bring the ball out from the back. Turning into trouble there was the skipper Gray. Mohammed. Parker. The speedy Mohammed in a foot race. Oh, he's gone down. Is that in the area there? A clumsy challenge by Isaiah Murray. He was beaten for speed. And the referee just instructing <laughs> young Mohammed to get up, let's get on with things. Zebra drops over. He's going to take this one. So as we approach the halftime whistle in this one, Mason Hall, they lead two goals to one. Oh, it's... 
Going right across. A comedy of errors, really. Let's look at this again. It was Sibu with a free kick. As they go across to take this corner. It was Sibu with this free kick. Look at it. The keeper missed. It went all the way across. And no one was able to put that one in. In the end, it went out for a corner. The referee just watching on his watch. He's on the post, look, getting a position where he can see how everything that is happening. And this one is driven across. Back inside. Oh, Williams with a goal at his mercy. Williams heading over there. And that ball just dragged outside. And that's the halftime whistle. So at the half in this one, Mason Hall, they lead two goals to one here versus Spurs side. We go to the break. When we come back, we have more action. Welcome back as we get ready for a second of action here in the beautiful Isles of Tobago. The Shaw Park sporting facility exactly. Where Space Eye they up against Mason Hall in the under 16 division of the Tiger Tanks Secondary Schools Football League. Mason Hall lead, lead this one. Two goals to one. They got their goals from the penalty mark. That's Mason Hall. From their skipper. And then the impressive Yashua Muhammad doubled up for them. But scoring first, drawing first blood was P side. Uh, Jackie Jack, he opened the scoring for P side. And there we see him coming again. Starting the first half the same way. He finished there. Oh, and that's a snapshot there by Aileen. Just going over. Nabani. Nabani. Aileen there just with a snapshot that went over. Speyside started the first half with lots of pace similarly. But then they were cooled down by the guys in red from Mason Hall. Ball punt upfield. Just running out of real estate would have been Rikilde Williams. So commanding figure Derrimple. He's able to play the ball out from the back. Or played due to Zim that Williams, but it's a bit too straight. It goes straight in the hands of goalkeeper Brandon Melville. But he played just with his feet and then with a bit of a bad pass. Mohammed. Williams. A shot. Oh! Good defensive work there. That ball was traveling. A shot from Baker. And they're able to win back possession at the back. Reed. Williams turning his man well. 
But then it's just cleared out there, taking no chances. Where's Nickel Williams? So it's going to be a train to the Mason Hall team. Ball thrown in. Floated into the area. Deemed to have been offside. Referee Stedman just calling for the offside. So goalkeeper Brandon Melville. He's going to be taking this one. So these two teams, two of the better teams here in Tobago when it comes to secondary schools football. Speyside, of course, they play in the Premier Division. While Mason Hall, they've been to the two Tobago finals here in Tobago. Williams and gives it away, but just committing the infringement there was Barker. Fouling Warwick. Kalim Warwick. Darren Pull. Floats the ball forward. Ball drops nicely here. Shot! Easily handled there by Kato. So it was Alain with the shot. But goalkeeper Kato was equal to it. Isaac Kato. Mohammed Yashom Mohammed just played out. It's going to be a corner for Mason Hall. As we see, in fact, he played the, playing the advantage. So standing over this one, Akilde Williams. So Williams drive this one in. Oh, it's a bit of an own goal. It Williams with the driven ball that was deflected. It took a wicked deflection. Left goalkeeper Melville with no chance. So Mason Hall, there goes up. Three goals to nil. This here is the first goal scored by So the wrong goal we saw there, that was the first goal so scored by Speyside. As we have the resumption, but it's Mason Hall up. Three goals to one. Speyside looking to come forward here. So this was the third goal for Mason Hall. Hall. It was a, a wicked and swinger. But I think the deflection took it out of the grass as goalkeeper Mel fell into the back of the net. So Mason Hall, they lead three goals to one. Ball banged up field. Mohammed in a foot race. Ball goes out of play. It's going to be a throw in. Well, it's an infringement, so it's going to be a free kick for the three side team. They'll be looking, trying to get back into this one. Alene just puts it down for Warwick. Warwick doing a bit too much. And the ball looking to play through. Th there was a 
Baker. Ah, it's a bit of a handleball there. The referee indicating that the ball had gone up onto the hands of Baker. Punt down, down field. <laughs> Speed side coming here now, but Beast not able to win out, but unable to clear the lines. Sebrudo in a battle. Ball going out of play. It's going to be a throw in for me, Snow. Heavy touch by uh, Allen. Then it's cleared out. So, not the, the prettiest of displays from either team. Miss Snow has been good in patches. But they lead where it comes. On the goal column, having scored three goals, the space sides too. Reed. Julian. Reed. Good play by Reed here. Reed getting it. That ball just played out. It's going to be another. Corner for Mason Hall. So Reed to take this one. It's going to be taken with the left boot. Or this is the right boot. Yeah, with the left boot driven along the ground. Not the best of corners. And here comes P side looking to at least pull one back for their team. Kent just losing out. Kamani Kent. And then Sebro. The shin pad and socks forming a bundle over his boots. <laughs> and there you see him just pulling it up and repositioning. He would need a. The good old stay ups. Of course, modern socks have all kinds of gadgets to keep them up. But sometimes it's good to go back to basics and just get the good old stay ups or even the rubber van. Where's Mason Hall exchanging passes? But then they have their pocket pick and chuck. Still Jack, Jack with a shot. And it goes over. The referee said he has been impeded. It may just well be a free kick. It's a corner. No foul, says the referee. So it's going to be taken by Allen. The Barney Allen. There you see the coach of the Mason Hall team, Devon Dora Smart. Great to the area. Just had it clear. Two players have collided and stayed on. In fact, three players. A three player collision. Durf recalling the foul in favor of uh, Mason Hall. 
The P side players are not very happy with that decision. One of the players have stayed down in the area. Number seven. Seems to be George. Sion George. So you're not missing any action. You're just joining us, you're watching the secondary schools, the Tiger Tang Secondary Schools Football League. Mason Hall up against Bayside in the under 16 division in the Tobago zone. Mason Hall, they lead three goals to one here. Bit of a wrestling match taking place there. Redeeming the foul to have been made on uh, the space side player. The first Stenman Kelly. Res Gray stands over this one. The captain of the space side team. Can he lead his team back from the abyss? Ball up over the area and it's put into the back of the net. So space side, they pull one back. He just floated it up over the top and the man able to put it in was the number seven again, Jack. A good approacher's goal. So space side. They've clawed their way back into this one. Mason Hall lead three goals to two. Game on. So Mason Hall just relaxing a bit here against Speed Side. Speed Side not giving up and being able to fashion a response. And we see just having straight into an offside position, there was Yashua Muhammad. Well, Bang Dong Field. Gets through. Oh, a strong challenge. By George. Ball going out of play. It's going to be a corner. So it's going to be a corner here. Ball floated into the area. Panic in the Mason Hall defense, and finally they able to clear. Williams lays it forward here for Reed on the overlap. Reed the ball into the area. It's missed. And the ball just going out.
So we see just stringing passes together here. The Mason Hall team. Julian slipped the ball through. A beautiful ball through. Oh, he just would have straight outside. There was Williams. So an exciting game brewing here. As you see the coach, Devon <laughs> Della Smart, very animated at the sidelines. By Alien. <laughs> Going out. And finally, the whistle goes. So it's going to be a free kick. To kill Lee Williams. Going for a bit of a run. Ball played through. Still Williams. And the substitute has come on here. Yeah, the number 15 is just infringing. Ball played uh, long across. So, Mason Hall just stringing some passes together here. Speyside able to come forward here. Oh, that's a good, skillful turn. But the defender does well. Ball played through. Looking to recover. Is more, but Monday, the substitute, earning his team a free kick. As we see jogging on, the substitute for Mason Hall. That's Saint Louis. So very keenly contested encounter here between Mason Hall in red and Speyside in yellow. Mason Hall, though they lead three goals to two. Ball floated into the air, headed on. Finally, it's cleared up field. Williams, he loses out. But then he picks it up. Toying with the defender, really. Finds Rez. Reed, sorry. Reed loses out. Turning one way, then the other. And then losing out. Mohammed. He loses out. And then Gray. Oh, missed kick by the captain. But he's able to recover. But the ball's still not clear. And then finally it's cleared. Oh, a poor clearance. And we killed me. Williams has not been on his very best here this evening. Williams. 
Pull across. Easily cleared. But they're coming in waves now. Trying to put this one to bed. Ball played through. By Barker, but it's cleared out again. Mondi. He loses that battle with Stewart. And the ball cleared forward. And then Darimpel puts a big old boot on it. See, bro. As they really beginning to pass this ball around here now. But winning out is Gray. And side try to come forward. Williams. Uh, another evening, Williams would have, might have had a double or even a hat trick. Sibru. Williams. Ball just deemed to have gone on a play. It's the referee just calling for a water break. The sun is out in all its glory, so the referee just using his discretion. The referee Stedman Kelly to call things to halt, allow some water to be had by the players. As we see, one of the Mason Hall players has stayed down. So Fish Stedman Kelly just looking at his watch. Williams just playing that one through. And Mason Hall D come forward. Looking for an insurance goal. Our three goals to two. It's a very dangerous leader. But Monday who wins out and puts it forward. Flicked on by Elaine. But then cleared up field by Sibu. Williams, Julian, Williams free, Williams with a shot, the energy of Raquel May Williams this evening has not been uh, on spot, he's played quite relaxed, I think just a bit too relaxed for his own liking, here he comes again, trying to make a pass, but then Darimpul just clears it away. Alain. Bang in the downfield. Reed. Sibro. Just cleaning things up. And then puts it out for Williams. Williams there. Uh, looking to make a run. Eh? But that ball just going over the play. It's going to be a corner here for Mason Hall. Ball with the left boot curling up. It's cleared. Looney as far as Reed. But then Jack, two goal hero for his team, comes back and wins out. 
Jack with the ball played forward. Monday in a foot race, but Sibro comes and just sweeps things up. Ball played out. Julian going down under the challenge of Jack there. No call by the referee. He stayed down though. As Mason will continue to go forward. Ball played through him that Williams. But Darimpol able to come and clean things up. And then Old Blue Melville just urging his team forward. Not the best of our kicks. Ball play through. Julian. Julian finishes with a pump. So Jacory Julian. He bangs one home. To make it four goals to two here. As Miss Hall. Seem to have put the exclamation mark. On this one. The ball play through. Julian took a touch, settled himself, and blasted past goalkeeper Brandon Melville. So Mason Hall leads four goals to two. And with just about 10 more minutes left in this one, you would think, based on the play that we've seen thus far, that this one is in the bag for Mason Hall. But stranger things have happened. <laughs> so Mason Hall looking to tighten the screws here now. Really controlling possession. That ball goes all the way through. It's going to be a goal kick for the speed side team ball punt up field ball play through was easily handled by Darren Pull at the back and he bangs it upfield. So Speedside hasn't given up just yet. They're coming still. Still they come. Headed on. Seabro. He's going to play a stopper now. A sweeper, should I call it that? But the modern player caller. Center back. But he's just a bit behind his back line. So more a traditional libero, libero or sweeper position he's playing. This is Barker who stands over this one. His team comfortably four goals to two leaders in this one. Ball whipped in, headed down. Beautiful one, two here. Ah, oh, the keeper comes. I think it would be deemed to have an infringement. It was Yashua yeah, Muhammad there just crashing into goalkeeper Melville. Good players are up. So yes, the ref calling for that infringement. As they get the restart going. Because, so try to go for a bit of a run. But he loses out and then it, this Darimpel just bangs it up field. 
trying to get his moves going is the substitute. Ah, skips past one challenge, then two. Ball across the area. Mundy. So it's Caleb Alfred who's come on there. Number eight. Kito. Who is short? Reed. Still a reader. And he just gives it away to Darimpul. Darimpul. It's a long raking pass. It's going to be a corner. One of the very few. Four. Speed side. He'll try to get something out of it here. As you approach. Just over 74 minutes gone. Paul fluked into the area. Oh, he just banged away. It's gone. <laughs> Seaside, <laughs> as it's called that side. Just banging that one away was the defender. So it's going to be another quarter for the PSI team. If you're just joining us, you're watching Tiger Tan Secondary School's Football League action. It's the under 16 division here in the Tobago zone. Mason Hall, their leader, four goals to two. Four different goal scorers they had. That's Mason Hall. They got their first goal from their skipper. Jack, sorry, Rikildi Williams. Rikildi Williams. They also got one from Mohammed, as well as Julian. For Speyside. It was Jack who has a double for them. The ball uh, bouncing awkwardly. It goes out and it's going to be another corner. So a bit of a retake of that corner. The keeper Kato just bundling that one. So let's look at the delivery here. Ball in over the area. Getting a strong palm to it was Kito. Alfred. Or just going out and it's going to be a goal kick for Mason Hall. Punt up field. Just losing that battle there was Alin Parker. Still back up. Back up with a shot from distance. It's wide of the mark. And goes into touch. So with time beginning to wind down in this one. Mason Hall lead four goals to two. Versus Speyside. Speyside will definitely want to find some kind of response. But it's been a comfortable victory for Mason Hall. They've more or less waltzed their way into this one.
bit of a battle, but then it's just banged up feel. He's still looking to come forward, looking to try to get this equalizing goal, but just having to straight into having shoot in the offside position was one of the Miss Noel players. And that's the final whistle. So at the final whistle in this one, Mason Hall, they run away. Four goals to two winners versus Speyside in this, in this the under-16 division here in Tobago. So from all of us here, I want to thank you for viewing another edition of the secondary schools, the Tiger Tank Secondary Schools Football League right here on Tiger Sports International. There we have the goals. It was an outsider boot shot by George, bundled by Kato. Jack on the spot was Jarrell Jack, and he puts it in to put his team up. Then it was the captain, Raquel Williams. Raquel De Williams with a scorcher. And a few moments later, we had Yashua Muhammad beating the offside trap, settling himself and putting it away to make the score two goals to one. So at the half, it was two goals to one. Miss Nolan in the second half. Flashing in a response. That ball played into the area. At that time, it was three goals to two. The space side seemed to be in with a chance at three goals to two. But then, this, the ball not cleared properly. Played through to Julian. And Julian did the necessary as he banged it home to make it four goals to two. So at the end of it all, uh, Mason Hall, they win four goals to two here versus Speyside. So from all of us here, I'm going to be, I want to wish you good evening.